Hi Taurus, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do a general love and life reading for you. So this is going to be just an energy update for you Taurus. What's coming in for you in the next few weeks? What do you need to hear? What do you need to know? Just whatever comes up here. And we're going to see. So this is going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, rising venus i just heard flip of a coin and here we have the seven of cups in reverse some of you may need to make a decision here is what i'm picking up on about something let's see we have yeah the judgment in reverse truth in reverse so let's see so this is going to be for the collective taurus so it's not going to be for all of you it's not going to resonate with everyone so just take what fits with you as always just take what resonates with you let's take a look i'm getting something about vegas as well i don't know what that's about but maybe these messages are for somebody let's see so what do we have for taurus this is for taurus sun moon rising venus for the collective what do you need to hear taurus whoever's tuning into this reading whoever needs to hear these messages what is coming in for you in the next few weeks? What are you moving through? <clears throat> what messages do we have here for Taurus, please? Anything for love, for life? Seven of Swords wants to come out here. Let's see what else. So what else do we have for Taurus? What do you need to know as of right now? And or what's coming in here for you in the next few weeks for Taurus, please. We have the Six of Cups and here we have the Judgment in Reverse, Truth in Reverse. We have the Five of Swords Reverse and here we have the Nine of Wands. So I was seeing the Six of Cups quite a bit for you when I was shuffling for the reading. Um, and the Judgment card can also be heavily about our past as well. So I feel like some of you, you are going to be moving through something here connected to your past. When I was shuffling this deck, we also do have here the sunglasses, which says watching, looking, stalking, perception. So there may be somebody here who is trying to resurface into your life here. We're going to get some more information and see. Um, and if that's the case, it does feel like with this five of swords, conflict and defeat and judgment and the truth here, this is really about having to, um, come to, there's something here that's not completed. There's something here that I feel the judgment call has not been called. So either you have not found full clarity or closure on something here or somebody here that you are connected to. It could be anyone. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It probably does feel like love though, but there is something with the seven of swords that wanted to come out here too. It's very much about having to face the truth. And so some of you may have something come up for you in the next few weeks here to where you may have to really face something. You have to face the truth about something. This could just be on an emotional level, memories of love here, or this could be something coming towards you, coming in for you. Maybe you are keeping tabs on somebody or vice versa it's also something is shady about this you know with the sunglasses here there's something that i feel is not out in the open there's something that's not out uh, like out right here so it feels like something attached here i'm getting also a vision of yarn um which kind of gives me the feeling too of being kind of caught in a situation with this five of swords here too so i do feel like with the major card here to be the judgment in reverse there is going to be maybe an opportunity to come into truth about something but there's very much a feeling here of repeating mistakes or going back um it falling back into other patterns or somebody repeating mistakes towards you it does feel this way here I just saw the card raise your vibration too. We have loving your soul path in reverse. So this is about carving your own path. This is about your life purpose. This is another um, meaning of it. You know, if it's not about love, a lot of you have to confront the truth of where are you going? You know, what is your path here? Because the judgment can also be having to really call judgment within ourselves, having to go through, you know, a review of our life, of our purpose, of our path. And so I do feel like some of you are going to be um, 
it's like something about it needs to be clear. Like I'm kind of getting a vision of a road. Uh, it's like trying to plow something like a plowing a road or smoothing a road so that it can be clear. And this feels a bit fuzzy here. So I do think this could be it with the iris too in reverse. We have the wise owl in reverse inner wisdom and foresight. There is a bit of a block here. And, and since that six of cups came through, I do feel like it could be possibly connected to something attached to you from the past or something that's going to be surfacing for you to deal with or to um, clear. Because it feels like with this conflict and defeat too, it's about having to clear ties with whatever this is. So... And we also have beneath the sunglasses, we do have the phoenix. So this is why I feel it says new phase, renew, transformation, growth, and change mind. And this is very much like the judgment here too, because this is Pluto energy, the judgment card too. So it feels like a major change has already happened, or it's sort of like in the process of happening. It's like you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're one foot in, you're one foot out with something here. And I think that this is what is going to, you're going to be working through in the next few weeks here is having to really love your path, find your path and stay committed to your path. So if something tries to sway you from that here, because we do have that seven of swords. So it's really trying to take the back road to something or trying to find your way to a solution. Um, let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. Yes, we have the sepia here, old thought in reverse. Look at that, evolution in reverse. Wow, we have healing, unrequited love. So this is very much what it is. I do feel with the judgment, new, new age, evolution, old thought here, six of cups, very clear message that a lot of you, uh, we'll see a little bit more because I want to confirm why this is coming up. But for, for a lot of you, this is coming up for a reason because you're trying to carve your new, your evolution. There's something very major shifting for you and it, it has to do with your destiny. It has to do with your path in whatever form, you know, your, your life, your career, maybe even your love life. It's everything all in one. And we do have healing unrequited love. And with this number seven here too, and deception and envy, I do feel like this is something with that yarn. It's like, it's a very complicated situation or you're tethered to something or someone's tethered to you. Um, and it's being kind of watched with these sunglasses, either actually, or just kind of metaphorically speaking, like energy wise, if that makes sense. Like you're watching something, something about the way this man too, like keeping tabs on something physically or just in your own mental space and your own emotions. And this is about having to clear that something needs to be brought out. Something needs to be assessed, uh, possibly even communicated here, but there's, there's definitely a feeling of clearing a lot for, for you. So you may be going through a process here in the next few weeks of really clearing it, but they are kind of coming out blocked, which is why I feel there's an obstacle. There's a hurdle here to overcome. Um, and I think with the six of cups here, it does have to do with, it's almost like you're jumping over a hurdle or you have to kind of address this stop in the road here in order for you to find your true calling or to close up a very sticky situation or a chapter that has been unfinished, you know, like, I'm, like the, the, the book has not been totally closed or something like that here. And if those of you who are dealing with unrequited love, whether it's just an imagined thing that you're dealing with on an internal level, or you have been in a situation that has been unre unrequited, you are really rising through this as the Phoenix, but it could be needed to really address it on a deeper level in order to find your true path. And that's what I feel you're going to be moving through. So there could be some powerful changes happening for you here. Let's see. Because you're definitely moving forward or you're needing to move forward here. Anything else for Taurus in the next few weeks or so? What do you need to know? What's coming in for you? We have lilac, belief, and faith. Yes, we have emotional flexibility, and we have find the humor in reverse. So this is very much about your belief, about your faith here. Um, it's also about your connection to 
your, your path, you know, in terms of raising your vibration is what I'm getting as well. So let's see here what else we have. So this is very much connected to the crown chakra as well, especially with this new age too. So Taurus, yes, we have the rabbit here. Now is a lucky time. And see beneath this, we have nothing is wasted. Wow, we have the butterfly. So very similar as this phoenix. So a lot of you, it's like you've already transcended. You've already moved through a transformation or you're currently moving through it. And I think that's why the seven of swords is here kind of in the sideways position. It's sort of like, again, you're one foot in, you're one foot out, you're one foot in the past, you're one foot in the future, and you are having to um, continue to move through this. And there could be some triggers that are coming up for you here. So definitely there's a new phase. There's a, there's, there's a, there's a big transformation, a renewal happening within your soul on a, on a very deep level here. And with this here, the vulture spirit, see how much of a contradictory energy this is, the vulture and the rabbit. It's like, we're, we're literally taking the darkness or the, like the waste and we're, we're creating it into something lucky, into something more abundant, fertile. And so there's a, there's a really, really strong energy I'm getting about you moving into a very abundant time in your life in all ways, especially when it comes to a feminine energy is what I'm picking up on specifically. So if you're a feminine, there's something shifting within you to where you are going to be aligning to your path here but with this vulture and the old thought and the healing unrequited love and the seven of swords here it's like it is being it's sort of like a like a vulture does you know it's kind of like eating up the old energy but it's also a reminder here that the past does not define you or the past does not have to define your future path or your future destination here and so I feel like that's also a lesson that you're moving through is to really have belief and really have faith in what is unfolding for you because this is your carved path. And this is also, um, you're, you're shedding a lot of old, uh, karmic debt here is what I'm getting. So I think you, let's, let's take a look at the six of cups a little bit more. Cause I want to see what this is about. Cause obviously with the sunglasses, there is something about somebody here there's something that's not closed up. There's something that's being kind of looked at from a shady perspective or like from the side of the eye, you know? Uh, and I don't know if that's you or if this is somebody else here, but it's sort of like needing to be addressed an elephant in the room here. Anything else for, um, I was going to say cancer. Maybe some of you are dealing with the cancer. Taurus, anything else for Taurus? We have, yes, reclaim your power. This is very powerful. Look at this. We have the B, sweet results await. So we have both the rabbit, lucky time, and we have sweet results await. But this right here is about reclaiming your power. So for you, Taurus, you're moving through, again, a very, tr a very powerful time, a very transitional time in your growth right now. And I do feel like it has to do with you reclaiming what is yours on a soul level, on an emotional level on a lot of levels. So there's something about your ascension right now. So maybe some of you are feeling this, if you're feeling an ascended, um, energy around you, or if you just feel like something is coming, something is brewing, this is the truth. And again, it is blocked because I feel like it's not quite here yet. And part of it has to do with your own acceptance of the truth. And the other part of it, I do feel like has to do with something that needs to be exposed or something that needs to, um, is maybe pending to come into your life in order to bring about this change. And I think that's also what came out in your reading last time too. It's like something that has to be brought up in order for us to see the truth. You know how sometimes we have distance from something and then when it comes back around, we have the answers that we need. So you could be experiencing somebody here possibly resurfacing, or you could be experiencing, um, memories and things that are resurfacing for you in order to clear out this clutter that is keeping you from your path. Um, and the new path is going to be very abundant, very much of like an empress energy. I'm getting a lot of that. So maybe some of you are going to be becoming um, spiritual leaders or you're doing something very abundant. You're doing something very, very big, I feel. 
So these are both about your independence, but it's more about independence. Like I'm trying to explain the energy. It's, it's more of independence on a level of soul. You know, if that makes sense, like you're, you're, it's like you're clearing a lot of past life. You're clearing a lot of karma here. And because of that, your energy is becoming very vibrant um, and very powerful with whatever you're doing, whatever your craft is, whatever your career is, and also within love too. I am seeing we have Cupid's arrow here too. Um, so let's see, I'm going to get a few of these love uh, cards to see what's going on in love for you. And then we'll look at the tarot. But definitely just know that something very sweet is awaiting for you. Something very abundant is awaiting for you. It's kind of like a wheel of fortune energy I'm getting too. Things are shifting for you at a soul level. So anything that we need to know for Taurus about what's going on for you in love or any other, any other information here about the situation here, this is for Taurus in the next few weeks or so. What are you moving through? What's coming in for you? We have soulmates. We have soul connection. Look at that. There it is again, the phoenix. We have soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. I do feel like with the six of cups to be showing, it is confirming that this is about some form of soul contract that is meant to be a part of your life. Some of you, this may be somebody you already know. Um, Let's actually confirm here with the tarot because I'm getting that very strongly. It's like you are either going to be meeting somebody who is going to be a part of your path, a part of your soul path moving forward, or you are coming into like you're, it's like you have somebody here who you have already a soul contract with, an agreement with here, and maybe you both are coming together to either trigger each other or to transcend this energy. And that's what I'm getting a lot of clearing, a lot of um, clearing the path, clearing the road. And so with this Phoenix here to come out again, this is confirming you have a very, very magical transformation happening for you. And it's going to restore your sense of belief. It's going to clear your crown chakra area. It's going to clear something within your true identity. Like you're going to be seeing clearly what you need to do. It's really something about this that um, is very powerful. Like your luck is changing is what I'm hearing. Like something is changing within your path here. Let's look at this soulmate here. Let's see what's going on. Yes, the temperance card. So another very beautiful card. There's something very, very tempering about what's happening for you here. We actually have the two of cups showing beneath that, which is in reverse though. But this to me is a blending, a healing. Some of you are going to be healing something. And I think I said this for Taurus's last reading too. It's sort of like in a way where you are just coming into peace. You're coming into harmony in some way. It doesn't necessarily mean for all of you that you're coming together. It's just something about it is going to bring a level of peace into your life to feel like you are okay to proceed. You're okay to move on. You are okay to really have your luck change. There's a lot of positive energy, but it's, it's, it's sort of like if we, if we feel uneasy about something or even just on a soul level, if something that is meant to be cleared in our life or even a part of our life is not in alignment, it's going to kind of still tug at us, you know, with this judgment here. And it also could be somebody else who is connected to you. Um, and they could feel like they need to clear something. They need to, they need to clear this. And so I've, I've been picking that up here for you. There's something, there's something that is, let's see here for Taurus. So here it is again, the temperance. What's going on for Taurus in the next few weeks? What do we need to know here about the situation spirit for Taurus? The nine of wands is so funny because I was just going to say, and we have this nine of wands over here and here it came out again. Um, in this deck, it's very much about a lot of you have been hanging in there. A lot of you have been persevering through your challenges here. And this is also kind of a wounded warrior energy. But in this case for you, it feels more like you've been really hanging on to your within your struggles, maybe even in a connection, you've been really feeling defeated. Maybe this other individual too, you could be connected because I do feel like there's a soul contract here. Um, and you've been feeling 
it's like this feeling of just being battered, of being weighed down. And then there's this weight that's going to be lifted off for you in the coming weeks here. It could take longer for some of you, depending. But until this truth can be confronted, until this um, contract can be resolved of some sort of way here, um, it's kind of going to feel this way, the Nine of Wands. So with this too, nothing is wasted. This is what you need to hear and what you need to know is that your experiences, even if they've been difficult, they have not been a waste of time for you. They have not been a wait, they have not been for nothing. They've very much been for your growth and also for the growth of somebody else that you um, have been connected to. Here it is again, Six of Cups. And we have the Palace of Wands. So what's going on with the Six of Cups for Taurus? Is this somebody that's in, who is this? What's, what's going on here for Taurus in the next few weeks? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And we have the Sun in reverse. And here's the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, I do feel, and here's the um, Fool beneath that. This sun is really giving me the same feeling as the phoenix here and also this new age evolution. This is something that I feel because the sun is a, obviously a very beautiful card. It's also very much about the um, illumination. It's about happiness in this deck. It's very, very vibrant. It's also very masculine. Um, the sense of self, our vitality here. And when it's in reverse, for me, this is just saying that something is not quite... Um, It's not quite revealed yet. Yeah, there's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What's coming in for Taurus in the next few weeks? The Six of Wands in reverse. So we have a lot of fire here. Let's go ahead and confirm a little bit. I want to see what Spirit's implying here because I definitely feel there's a major shift happening. But with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands, this can point to one of two things. This can point to somebody here who is not taking responsibility for the connection, for their actions, because in this, this would be somebody very, very confident, very, I mean, all of these in the upright would be very, very masculine, very action oriented energy, maybe quite um, flamboyant here. But they're all blocked, which is why I feel that this is either something that is not yet coming in this is like the phoenix that is not quite risen and i think maybe that's why this this is in reverse here can we confirm for taurus yeah we have someone is thinking a lot about you i do definitely feel like you are connecting to someone that you probably already know um, and again this individual i think is part of your your path because you have a soul contract with them it doesn't mean you have to stay tethered to the energy it's just that there's a there's a illumination coming around this connection and there's also a healing taking place within you at a very soul level i keep getting that here in order for you to like the luck is turning for you maybe it's sort of like a tables have turned type of situation too to where you are reclaiming your power um yep the situation is a karmic lesson. So there's some form of karmic lesson that you are moving through um, Taurus. I was going to say Scorpio. <laughs> so we have Scorpio and, and um, Cancer that I kept wanting to say. So maybe some of you are connecting to that or you have that in your chart. Um, but there's a very karmic lesson that you're moving through in the next few weeks here. Um, and I do feel like it's going to really resolve when the time is right. And it's definitely going to give you a sense of... Um, fertility of vitality of luck that's changing for you very soon so it's sort of like again there's like one foot in one foot out here can we confirm anything else that we need to know here for taurus in the next few weeks in regards to this phoenix soulmates for taurus
We have, yes, this opportunity is a gift. But see, we have that Seven of Swords there too, which is why I feel like somebody's not owning up to the connection here. Anything else for Taurus? We have a new love is coming in for you. So this could be a brand new love for some of you. I'm not sure who this is. I think for a lot of you, it is, a, it's, again, it's a very strong soul contract that you have with somebody. And it's coming up right now for you for a reason, for your own growth, for your ascension. Um, but there is a holding back on this forward movement is what I'm seeing. Taurus, next few weeks. Yeah, we have there are major obstacles to defeat. So it's a very interesting energy. And here we have someone is thinking a lot about you again. And we have you are trying too hard. So basically what I feel here for you, Taurus, is that it's more of your own lesson that you are moving through. Some of you, there's some form of quick action that somebody might take towards you. Um, but I think it's going to be sorted out the way that you see fit. So if you feel like it's best for you to move forward from this or something that's just not the right time, I suppose. Um, but it's very much going to be a part of you and your own growth here. But there's an obstacle standing in the way here. What's next for you, Taurus? What's coming in for you? Yeah, I mean, see, we have passion here. So it says insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. We do have here camera, reminiscing, learn from the past, make memories. So it's, yeah, it's like there's something here about definitely you're learning from the past. You're going to be moving through these past cycles, past lessons, whether they're actually going to be in the physical form or just on an emotional soul level, a lot is shifting for you very soon, but the energy is blocked at the moment. And I think that's because there's still more obstacles to defeat. It's like you're in the middle of this Phoenix rising, something with that sun, the Knight of wands, it's going to be a very passionate, um, encounter or like something coming through very passionately at the right time. And I do feel like it could be in the form of somebody new. Just take it how it fits with you. It's going to depend on your situation. But perhaps it's still not quite the right time for those to be blocked. Some of you may also have to reevaluate what you want. So this could be about you having to consider, is the situation something that you want? But there is... Yeah, it's because your, your your soul is evolving here. And so we do have this healing unrequited love. So it's like, I feel like for a lot of you, you're coming out of a time where maybe you have accepted something in the past, but you're no longer going to accept that. And that's going to be the Phoenix rising. That's going to be where you are transcending your past, your previous mistakes. And so I think a lot of this is going to be coming up for you here too. Um, to confront. So any other messages for Taurus here? This could also be somebody who is trying to come towards you, but they don't quite feel confident or they're not ready for that step. So anything else for Taurus? What do you need to hear? What's coming in for you the next few weeks? We have in the near future. Yeah, it feels like, so yeah, see here we have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. So something is definitely shifting for you here. Um, and I do feel like it's very soon. It's in the near future. We have you've got the power. So we have two things about power here too. So that you're stepping into a very powerful role within yourself. And I think you're going to have to call judgment on a situation is what I'm getting. So there's going to be one chapter closing for you, one cycle of your life closing for you, and a new chapter beginning. Anything else here for Taurus? We have patience, please. Any other messages for Taurus? 
listen to your intuition. Yeah. So whatever is going to come up for you here, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to really listen to your own, um, yeah, your intuition. So you, I feel like for a lot of you, you may have to make a decision here is what I'm seeing, or you have to make some form of judgment call on what is best for your soul. What is best for your path here? And I feel like this sort of new passionate beginning of whatever form is going to take shape as you continue to reclaim your power and move forward because that's what I'm getting here. Can I get one last confirmation for this sun, knight of wands, six of wands reversed for Taurus? The chariot. It's definitely about something moving forward to you, something coming towards you. The chariot, we have the four of cups in reverse. So this is coming out of an energy of um, being discontent, being bored, not seeing, you know, um, uh, not wanting to see what we have in front of us here, missed opportunities. So there's going to be a powerful shift and a powerful movement forward. But I, I just get the sense that maybe this is just going to be in your hands. You have to decide what you want here. Somebody could definitely be wanting to approach you here. And this is why you need to, um, there's a lot of past stuff here, a lot of reminiscing on the past. So something is coming up from the past, something you're going to be reminiscing on. Someone else is also reminiscing quite a bit about you. This situation feels unfinished. It feels like you are going to have to find the truth here over the course of the next few weeks, maybe the next month, whenever that could be for you. And the way that you approach this is going to change or possibly even the whole connection is going to change and you're going to see the truth and you're going to be able to sweep that part out or to come to a decision about that in order to have your soul path unfold for you. And that's going to come in the form of a lot of passion, a lot of love, and also a lot of, um, just what's, what's best for you here is what's coming through with this six of wands and the Knight of wands could be a little bit of a temporary blocked movement of this to come forward to you, or this is somebody who is not, uh, necessarily very stable. And this is kind of the judgment call you're going to make in order to move into your path and have things unfold here but there's definitely a soul contract coming towards you or coming back to you to deal with so i hope this could help you taurus thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of the day and i'll talk to you next time much love